Yeah, look at this. We're like in in walkable cutscene mode at the minute. Oh, oh my! Freaking kingpin over here. Welcome, welcome. Thank you all for joining me this evening. Please eat, drink, enjoy all the pleasures I have to offer. Take your time. I will wait. Oh I shit! The wine fountain. Satisfaction. Good, good. It pleases me to see you all so happy. But these are dark days, my friends, and we must enjoy this bounty while we still can. War threatens to consume us all. Salah Adin bravely fights for what he believes in, and you are always there to support him without question. It is yeah. your generosity that allows his campaign to continue. It's all good, dude. So I propose a toast then. To you, my dear friends, who have brought us to where we are today. May what you be the? given everything you that was odd. For <laughs> These sounds are odd. I didn't think it in you. You, who have been so quick to judge me, and so cruel. Oh, do not feign ignorance. You take me for a fool. Huh? But I have not heard the words you whisper behind my back. Wow, he's being forthwith. I fear I can never forget. But this is not why I called you here tonight, no. I wish to speak more of this war and your part in it. You give up your coin quick as can be, knowing all too well it buys the deaths of thousands. You don't even know why we fight. Wow. The sanctity of the Holy Land, you'll say. Or the evil inclination of our enemies. And the people are like, this is a total shift. <laughs> no. All this suffering is born of fear and hate. It bothers you that they are different. Just as it bothers you that I am different. <sighs> Compassion, mercy, tolerance. These words mean nothing to any of you. Mean nothing to those infidel invaders who ravage our land in search of gold and glory. This is a I say, enough! mood killer of a party. Myself to another cause. Oh One shit. That will bring about a new world. In which all people might live side by side in peace. You tell him, boss. A pity none of you will live to see. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. I soon as the tone turned dark, I realized I, this is a real possibility. Holy shit. This is a complication. This party's getting crazy. Okay, cool. Let's, uh... Change of plans. Pardon me, sir. This this manservant's taking it in stride. This is a crazy party, yes? Oh, shit. Gotta get up here quick while everyone's still in chaos. Whoa! Oh, shit. What the? Oh, that was an own shot. Oh, crap. I didn't want to start taking out these guys, but the situation is a little dire. Sorry. Bye. Oh, all right. He probably actually didn't die. <laughs> he just kind of. There we go. Got my throwing knife going. There really isn't much, like, hide spots here, is there? Just gonna have to try and avoid enemy attention, I guess. What? Really? We can't? Okay, there we go. I was like, I can't climb this wall? First of all, there's totally a synchronization spot right up here. 
It's interesting that it's here in the enemy's area. Yes, lovely. It certainly is. Oh boy, there's a there's a hay bale to drop down to to the left there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know if it's worth it. We're gonna be outside the No, we're still in the palace area, I think. No, I'm not sure, but let's not do it. Let's This is intense. The fact that the heat is not falling off of us. Where is he? Okay. Yeah, he really does hate the people, and he certainly made that clear today with this little trick. I wonder if I had been faster with my parkour, if we could have avoided this situation. Oh! Yes, I've used my grab ability. I did it. Nice. Where is he? Somewhere inside, I think. How elaborate is this place? Hey! What the? Yo, I'll th what the? Ladders are a socially acceptable way to reach a room. What just happened? Hold on. Okay. I screwed up something, I think. I'm not sure what just happened there, but we went all the way back here. Well, there he is, right up there. Okay, let's... New plan. Let's do the statue trick this time. Jeez, I screwed it up again. I know, I know. There we go. Just no no double taps on those damn climbs. I know, I know. So, okay, so there must be a timer on getting the quad here because he really booked it last time, so. Okay, this is how it's going to be then. Fine. Honestly, in the chaos of everything going down the way it did, I don't think I could have done this all that much better. Pardon me. Go oh, back. He's booking it hard for such a bellicose man. Damn, I tried to tackle him. Oh, he's just going in the streets now. Sure. All these people are just watching like, what the heck? Damn, tried to tackle him, but he is. There we go, on the streets. Be at peace now. Their words can no longer do harm. Why have you done this? You stole money from those you claim to lead, sent it away for some unknown purpose. I want to know where it's gone and why. Look at me. My very nature is an affront to the people I ruled. And these noble robes did little more than to muffle their shouts of hate. Jeez. This is about vengeance, then. No, not vengeance, but my conscience. How could I finance a war in service to the same god that calls me an abomination? What an interesting character. Yes, Salah Hadin's cause, then whose? In time, you'll come to know them. I think perhaps you already do. Then why hide? And why these dark deeds? Is it so different from your own work? You take the lives of men and women, strong in the conviction that their deaths will improve the lots of those left behind. A minor evil for a greater good? We are the same. No, we are nothing alike. Ah, but I see it in your eyes. You doubt. You cannot stop us. We will have our new world. Well then. What an interesting character that was. His All his motivations and stuff there. Was all very curious. Hey, we're in that place I wanted to go to. The, the, uh... The covered up market. Cool. Let's gain some altitude. Oh, no. Gain some altitude here. No, Altair, please. 
There we go. That's what I wanted. Oh my god, this guy's right on my tail. Oh, made it. Someone's gonna spot me. I just know it. I'm such a slow climber. Look, last second and immediately some guy is just like, There you are! That's what my luck usually is like in these situations. Although that hay bale was pretty lucky. <laughs> no, it's not going to work. Ow, ow, ow. You jerks. Oh god, there's no quads palace. Yeah, this was not the best of my... Best of my assassination still. I don't know if I have had a best of assassination yet. I've kind of bungled all of them. My escape is going really badly today. But um, honestly, once the people started dying from the poison and the guards, I think things accelerated in a lot of ways. And I'm still not sure if I could have, like, kept up with a stealthy method once that whole business started. Death. Jesus! I'm doing terribly. Oh, there's a g g woman asking for money in the middle of the situation. Hey, vigilantes! Nice! Now that is what I need to see. God damn it! Oh, okay, cool. That that works out. When you're trying to climb something and then you're like, nope, there's nothing to climb up, then you just freeze there. Oh, that's that feeling is horrible. Oh shit, oh that's right, there. I completely forgot right, with the city on alert, like they're just gonna auto aggro even if I Escape their attentions. Oh, there we go. But I think rooftop should be should be a little easier for us to avoid prying eyes once we just throw them off, you know? Streets are bad, definitely, so we want to keep... That's why I wanted to get elevation quickly, and I didn't do a great job on that front. But now... There we go. Smooth sailing. Yeah. So I'll, I'll say that's still a fine result of that. The, the real problem I have is I took so long at the parkour in the beginning and I decided to, to get that uh, vantage point. Um, I didn't realize there was just a global timer and he would escape. Come on. I assume that's what happened when the game just game just rewound to that checkpoint. I assume that's what happened is Nuquad got away. That's annoying. I, I wish... Once again, I did not think like what the situation calls for, which is taking that guy out quickly, especially given the hectic nature of the situation. Obviously, the answer was to go in quick on that guy. Word has reached me of your success, Altair. Abu Nakud's reign of terror is at an end. Nakud. Glad to hear it. He killed them, the men and women at his party. It was poison, a coward's tool. Blamed them for the war. Said he wished to end it. Strange. But then again, the Merchant King was known to be a bit... different. Perhaps this was simply a symptom of his madness. Perhaps. Jesus. You sound unconvinced. Speak with Almualam then. He may offer a better explanation. Yes. We'll see what he has to say. I will do that. The vibes I got was that that guy, Abul Nuquad, was... Um, to a more recent one. Was some kind of... He was not a straight man. I, in terms of his sexual preferences, is what I'm getting at. I, I think... I think that's what they were implying. First of all, he's going on about him being different from others. And also, the the one that was that... Uh, the way he uh, gave that look to that guard of his, like... When he was going on about a world where we could all exist in peace, like... I think that kind of... That's what kind of made me suspect that. In which case, what an interesting villain. What an interesting character. Like, uh, his motivations. Like, his, he was the... He was the least... He was the least evil of the four guys so far we've taken. Or, like, least, like... Like, like they've tried to... The, the other guys, like, um, Naplu and uh, Talal... Hakim was just an asshole, sure. But the other two guys seemed to believe in their own bullshit. Even though they were clearly doing horrible things, they seemed to believe that they were making a better world. 
while the quad here, not quad, seem to be the most um, actually like complicated in his motivations. Like he 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 certainly wasn't a good guy, seeing as he killed all those people that way. But his like motivations involving his um, his his uh, his sexuality, I'm still kind of suspecting that's what's up there, combined with. Um, Combined with um, combined with his like faith and uh, his like his experiences in life like made him wow that was a lot to unpack in such a small little character very cool I I, I really enjoyed that I have to say if there's something else to him and I'm completely misreading his uh, sexuality here I'm super sorry <laughs> please write in and tell me what that what the, what what, what you think was going on there, but that's the read I had on that that situation there. When you're out of knives, refill your stock by returning to Messiah or by pickpocketing thugs. Cool! Cool trivia! I didn't know you oh, can pickpocket knives. With me a moment. Good to know. As you wish. Word has reached me of your success. You have my gratitude and that of the realm. Freeing these cities from their corrupt leaders will no doubt promote the cause of peace. Can you really be so sure? The means by which men rule are reflected in their people. As you cleanse the cities of corruption, you heal the hearts and minds of those who live within. Our enemies would disagree. What do you mean? Each man I've slain has confessed strange words to me. Mm. Without regret, even in death they seem confident of their success. Though they do not admit it directly, there is a tie that binds them. I'm sure of it. There is a difference, Altair, between what we are told to be true and what we see to be true. Most men do not bother to make the distinction. It is simpler that way. But as an assassin, it is your nature to notice, to question. Then what is it that connects these men? Ah, but as an assassin, it is also your duty to still these thoughts and trust in your master. For there can be no true peace without order, and order requires authority. Goodness. In circles, master. You commend me for being aware, then ask me not to be. Which is it? The question will be answered when you no longer need to ask it. I assume you called me here for more than just a lecture. <laughs> Very well. A rank and weapon are again restored to you. Yay! Two more leaders remain. Go and see to it that their rule is ended. I will do that, sir. Thank you for the upgrades. Man. Very unclear on what the is going on. Well, okay, once again, I think I know what the conspiracy going on here is. Regain balance and dodge and sword expertise. Fascinating. Dodge is gonna be nice, cool. Let's go practice that right now. Uh, yeah, I think I know what the conspiracy is again because the meta plot of Assassin's Creed is very, very famous. So I have an inkling of what's going on here, but it is certainly an interesting conspiracy they are setting up here that all these guys are connected the way they are. Hmm. And uh, what I know, what I don't know about is uh, Al Mualim being so damn evasive with it. I'm just a man of mystery over there. I think he knows something about what's going on. I mean, obviously he has to. How else would he have singled out these nine people who seem so connected to each other to uh, take out? Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Really? Perhaps no. you could show them what you know. How odd that this just keeps on happening. Wow, I just noticed a flag over there that I guess I haven't picked up at all at this time. All right, so now when we hold, okay, now when we hold down this, we can hit spacebar to dodge. Okay, and then we can follow up with a regular attack. Jeez, I... Ah, there we go. Had to be really early with that. Okay, well that had a lot of telegraphing that attack. Alright, that's gonna be a game changer, I think, in these fights that I'm doing. 
Uh, yep. Don't need to do anything else, guys. I'm good. I'm good. There's a flag on that hill up there, right? I think it was. Let's go grab that. Swear I saw it glittering right here in this corner. Gotta keep that collection up. Hmm, only 20 flags in the entirety of Masyaf. Sure, it's a, it's not a city, it's just a small town. That seems a doable challenge, but also I just know that when I hit like 19, 20... And so well, when I hit 20, I'm done. When I'm like 18, 19... I'm not gonna have the patience to figure out where that final flag is, the final two flags. So we are not gonna get in on that action. There we go. We get to travel and our next target, indeed, we are going in the same order we did this the first time. We're gonna go hit up Acker, take out William of Montferrat, the father of uh, Conrad. Climb tall structures to gain a bird's eye view of your surroundings. I'm gonna have to uh, go back on a suspicion I had previously, which is that Richard and Saladin would be uh, targets that we're gonna take out eventually. I, I've got. I'm, I think I'm gonna backtrack on that. I don't know because I don't think they want to go that hard on the alternate history Ubisoft that uh, Saladin and. Uh, Richard would get killed by assassins. Uh, Saladin died fairly soon after the Third Crusade wrapped up. I think only a couple of years later, but it wasn't an assassination. I don't remember what it was, but it was not an assassination. I would have seen that when looking up stuff about the Nizari. And Richard lived for a while longer. I don't remember how long he lasted, but he got back to England. So, you know, huh. So I'm, I'm starting to doubt that theory. We'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be shocked if maybe we get a, get those guys as targets. But seeing as we're going after William rather than Conrad, and Conrad actually was assassinated by assassins in real life, I'm starting to doubt a little bit that theory. Rafi, word has spread of your deeds, Altair. It seems you are sincere in your desire to redeem yourself. I do what I can. And sometimes you do it well. I assume it is work that reunites us? Yes. William of Montferrat is my target. What can you tell me of the man himself? William has been named regent while the king conducts his war. Mm. People see it as a strange choice given the history between Richard and William's son, Conrad. But I think Richard rather clever for it. Yeah, I see. Now, Richard and Conrad do not see eye to eye on most matters. Though they are civil enough in public, there are whispers that each intends evil upon the other. And then, there was that business with Akkar's captured Saracens. In its wake, Conrad has returned to Tyre, and Richard has compelled William to remain here as his guest. You mean his hostage? Whatever you wish to call it, William's presence here should dissuade Conrad from acting out. I've never been one for politics. But surely you realize your every action shapes the course of this land's future. You are a politician too, in your own way. As you wish. Now where would you suggest I begin my search? Richard's citadel, southwest of here. Or rather, the market in front of it. You'll find the Cathedral of the Holy Cross in that direction as well. Okay. It's a popular place and should be filled with talkative citizens. Right. Finally, try the border to the west, where the chain and hospitaller districts meet. That should start you on your way. Very well. I won't disturb you further. It's no trouble at all. All right, three areas to check out again. I like this guy over here. He seems to least hostile to Altair. I think he's also a little suspicious of Altair, but uh, okay, we have to go hit south, southwest. Oh goodness, there's a big corner over here. I wonder where Richard's fortress is gonna be. Okay, so we got southwest. We're going to find a church and a marketplace. Those are going to be the two places to get info. And to the west where the districts meet. So I'm going to get somewhere around here. I don't know why he wants us to go there. Just an assassin's hunch, I guess. But that's where we are going to go ahead. That was some cool, 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 like, real-life history that they just dropped there. And I'm glad that I looked up all that stuff on Conrad and stuff so I knew what they were referring to. The... The uh, disagreements between 
uh, Conrad and Richard refers to the fact that Richard originally originally supported Guy de Lusignan in the bid to be king of Jerusalem. And in that sense, it's a little... Where does that regain balance? So we don't have an option like that. We learned that, but I didn't see one. In that sense, it is a little uh, odd that he ended up in the end uh, promoting uh, Conrad as the king. So that's like some like Assassin's Creed lore for why the situation is the way it is here. Now, um, the, he referenced the business with the Saracens, Richard and his business with the Saracens. Uh, that refers to a moment in the Siege of Acker that is rather grim. When once Acker had fallen to the um, Crusader forces and... Uh, and uh, Saladin was continuing his uh, his uh, siege of Acker. At one point, uh, they like brought out uh, like hostages in front of each other. Oh, I think it started with Richard just bringing out a bunch of uh, Muslim hostages that they had kept after capturing Acker. Uh, they like marched those out, and Richard gave an ultimatum, like, okay, stop the siege, or these guys are dying. And like, there were like, I believe, a thousand people involved. When I say Muslim hostages, they marched out a ton of people, at least hundreds, if not a thousand. It's forbidden for you to be here. And in a moment of holy shitness, Richard actually fulfilled his threat. He, uh, he, they killed all of the hostages. That's crazy. <laughs> because, uh, oh shit, sorry guys, give me a second. Oh, jeez, sorry to have to put a cut there so close to the end of the episode. I'm terribly sorry about that one, but, uh, I had to, had to, had to, uh, step off for a minute. Uh, yeah, but going back to the situation at Acker when Richard had these hostages killed, it's like, it was raised in one of the podcasts I listened to how grim it is the fact that this is a time before gunpowder, so there was no, like, uh, firing squad taking these guys out. Consider having to kill a thousand people with the tech of this age. Either they had, like, a thousand soldiers line up and stab these guys all to death in just view of Saladin's encircling of forces, which would be nightmarish on its own, just a thousand people dying at the same time like that. Or it was a business which took took just ages to get done with as uh, as they uh, just slaughtered these people with basically it had to do with swords and uh, strangulation or I don't know what but in any case it would have been a long bloody business horrible to be clear <laughs> so that's kind of a bit of a blemish on Richard's uh, career. He was uh, kind of considered a kind of a really good uh, ruler, and even as a man waging war, like he he was an honorable guy and everything. That's the classic story. But that's absolutely a rather um, rather dark moment in his uh, work. And holy shit, look at that! Oh my god, look at how fancy that big Gothic cathedral there looks. Sweet Jiminy Cricket. Is that where we're gonna go to check out the uh, intel? He said we could check out a church. Oh, there's a guy to pickpocket right here, though. Very curious. I think we will swing like this, I think, and then we'll head back home. That's gonna be my plan. We'll leave a couple of areas left here, but say la vie. Uh, well, how much time do we have left? We oh, we've got only a couple of minutes. Don't know if I can take this pickpocket out in that time. So instead, let's... Oh! He was fast on the draw. Oh, oh god. I'm trying to do my fancy dodges here, but... Oh! Oh! He tried to do the grab break. Jesus! Ah, too early with that dodge. 
There we go. Wow, what a counter. That was brutal. I liked it. Do not come at me. No. Just gonna take a sweet time. All right. You instead. I will give you a little bop. It is interesting. I'm fighting with the small blade at the moment. Really how this seems to work is that this one just auto-kills when you get, like, these counters and everything. Whereas the big sword does not do that. It just, like, incapacitates them for a second. But that one's, like, better for just doing damage. So it's a, it's a real either-or thing. And I happen to like hunting for these uh, counter moments. So, oh, well, it looks like a dodge counter does not kill. This one, though... Really put the hurt in. All right. Yeah. Always a glad to help. Now you vigilantes, just hang out there for a minute while I hide in here. And we'll just let the uh, things cool down a little bit here. Man, there's like <laughs> almost how many guys? Eight guys I put down here. My goodness. Oh, boy. Okay, but now that we've got all this interesting setup involving uh, involving William, our next target, and we've got the uh, rich district of Acker to look around, including, this is very cool, I've looked at a map of Acker, and the actual old town is, like, here on, like, a peninsula, so... We'll have to see if there's like a big coast line over here. That's where like the ruins of old Acker are. Or I guess this would all be here. Modern day Acker probably is a lot bigger than this. So like it like spreads out all the way out over here. I guess this is more closer. This is uh, this is all old town Acker <laughs> in modern day probably is more accurate. But uh, yeah, next time I will get into a little bit of the history of Acker. And also some trivia indeed about William, the real life one that is. Not a whole lot to, to go on on that front, but I'm sure I can share some some deets with you guys for those of you who enjoy the history trivia. But for now, I'm just gonna have a nap in this hay bale, and uh, when we uh, get back to it next time, some pockets will be picked. See you then, guys. Goodbye.